Oh, them, them good people right there. You ever need some catering, some barbecue, that's the people you want to call. They're the best in Naples, no doubt about it. Good. I don't know what they charge, but they're good. They're worth it. They're worth it. They're good. Okay. Yo, what's up? What's happening? That ain't scrap in the back of your truck, man. That's a boat, man. We're going on the beach, know. man. You have a beautiful day, brother. Before we head out to the ocean or the beach, whatever we're doing, we got to get something to eat. We're going to try this little place right here, I'm sure. I'm sure there's gonna be somebody we know in there too. <laughs> but we're gonna get some uh, this little restaurant here that opened up recently. All right, guys, we're gonna get our bait today from Master Bait and Tackle. I know he got mad at me last because on the one video I came in one day and the guy was a jerk. So I, I went on the internet and I said, "Hey, this guy was a jerk to me. Treat people nice and you won't have a problem." But we're gonna get our bait today at Master Bait. Just to be fair, all right? Because I I, I I didn't <laughs> never thought the video would reach him, but yeah. We're getting our bait today on Master Bait. That sounds wrong. Yeah. We're going to Master Bait today. We're going to Master Bait today. Right before we go fishing. Let's go. Wow, it is beautiful today. Look at this, guys. Look at how beautiful. Look how many boats are out. It's just beautiful. Look at how clear the water is. We're going over that way though. Whoa, yeah, that way somewhere. We're gonna go check out Mount Key. Never been there before. Hopefully our boat motor lasts long enough to get us there. This is the dog beach right here. Tell you what, that, that dog right there, man. Trying to get the boat. Trying to get the boat into, into the water. See what happens here. What's up, everybody? Me and Katie are out. We're out in the middle of a sterile bay with a trolling motor and an electrical battery. Isn't that uh, reaffirming to our safety? Well, we're out here. They're in the middle of a sterile bay. I got her trolling just in case something hits. Looks like it's a lot deeper here now. Hold on tight. That's Fort Myers Beach over there. That's Lover's Key behind us. And we're heading out towards Mound Key on a 14 foot canoe with a trolling motor and a backup paddle just in case it all goes wrong. That's the high yacht over in a sterile back there on the left on the right. Let's see if we can hook into some fish out here. Have a good time, and we're gonna check out Mound Key, which is an uh, Indian mound in the middle of a sterile bay. Uh, it's a beautiful day to be out here, and if you've never been to Mound Key or know about it, it's in a sterile bay right in the middle. The Native Americans they built a mound of seashells in the middle of the of the bay, and probably they lived there, and they had probably. Maybe some type of religious significance, but we're, that's where we're heading. So now we're out of the current and out of the wind. This is one of the islands that's in the middle of the sterile bay. We're just trolling a little lure. And we're going right over there to Mount Key. That's where we're heading. A lot of, uh, a lot of crab traps out here. I guess the crabbing must be good out here. Alright, so this is taking a lot longer than I ever thought it ever would. But basically that's Mount Key over there. You can see the boat dock. We're traveling in the northeast direction. That's uh, Hyatt over there in Estero as a reference point. And that boat dock way over there is Mount Key. Built by the Calusa Indians, right in the middle of a sterile bay. And uh, I did not realize how long this is going to take. 
I hope our motor doesn't give up on the way back because it is battery powered. It would be a long, long paddle to get back way over there. Yep. Got some bad news. There's a boat dock on Mount Key, and guess what? Yeah, it's not only is it private property, but it's also for sale. Yeah, Mount Key State Archaeological Site is a private dock, which is actually, if you call Maggie, it's actually for sale. So we're going to try to get to a, looks like there's a point somewhere on this side of the island where you can uh, access a beach because we want to rest our feet. This is not the most comfortable position to be in, so we're going to rest our feet a little bit and then we're going to figure out if we can get on Mount Key because apparently it's a private island, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Private, private island. island. That's crazy. Nonetheless, beautiful. So if you live there, you can be like Gilligan. I'm not sure, but I thought it was a I thought that was a public boat dock, and I even uh, I even sent my GPS straight to that island, to that boat dock, thinking, hey, it's a private, it's a public place. We'll be able to dock on this place, but no, it's private. So, ain't that something? You know, the snappers got to be good underneath all these underneath all these mangroves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, this is some good fishing up in here. See if we can find somewhere to a sandy patch to rest our feet real quick. Looks like there's a sandy patch on this side of the island. It's all like mangroves. There's a trail through one of these places where you can get to the center of the island, so we're gonna try for that. Other than that, beautiful mangroves. We just gotta find that sandy patch. Or somebody to tow us back. <laughs> Give somebody 20 bucks to tow us back. It's going to be a long paddle, man. When this little motor gives up. Because even even getting to that boat dock was pushing the, pushing the little battery on this motor. So now that we're going even further to try to find a sandy spot. Now we're really pushing our luck here. With this little motor. Oh, it's getting windy. Watch out, the waves are coming. Waves. Ah. Hopefully we can find a sandy spot. Where are you, Sandy? Maybe back in here. I think this is the base where the sandy spot should be. Where the tra trailhead should be around here somewhere. You see a trailhead? Finally found access, you could call it, to this island. Watch out, I gotta get off first. Okay. Finally got access. We found a spot where I could uh, dock into. Give me a second, put these shoes on, try to help you. Hold on. Hey guys, we're on Mount Key. And you can actually see Bonita Beach Tower right there. The water tower from Bonita, you can actually see it from here. Might be easier to go that way instead of go going back ready to walk. Let's explore this little island. It's quite a steep climb. Go that way, it'll be easier if you go around the front of the boat. Say, notice, Florida prohibits digging, removing artifacts from state property. So basically, if it's on this island, it stays on this island. And it smells like, uh, like island here. <laughs> so I guess the first part of this island is just a little trail. And sure enough, there's a mound. So according to Florida history, you know what, I, I, they should have taught you this. this should, they should have brought us here on a field trip. Don't you think living, pick up the pace, boy. Yeah, Come on. I'm just looking around. You there's a lot more to look at. It's a whole island. Come on. See how much of a jerk I am to my wife? He's wonderful. They should have like brought us here on a field trip when we were in school, don't you think so? Yeah. This should have been a field trip right here. 
So according to history that they did not teach us in school, and they should have taught us, these mountains here, they should have brought us here on a field trip. It's uh, built by the Indians. It's a nice high mound. I can imagine if there's a hurricane, even if the tide came up, or the storm surge came up, they'd still be safe here. During a hurricane, there's big trees, and uh, they built their mounds before the, my ancestors, the Spaniards, came to Florida and raped and pillaged. Oh, well, look, there's a fruit on that tree. Yeah, I wonder if you die if you eat it. So if you're a Florida person, if you know Florida, is this edible? I'm going to leave it up to you guys on my channel. Is this an edible plant? It's full of fruit right now. I'm not going to eat it because I don't know what it is. But if you're a Florida person and you know your stuff, comment on the channel and educate us on what that plant is. So this is something like I think they should have took the class to. They should have like took us on a field trip here. Oh, gonna you with the kids over. On a boat. Mm -hmm. They should have brought us here as a field trip. And they should have taught us. We did more field trips in Kentucky than we do here. You notice that? In Michigan too. Yeah. So we're about 14 feet above sea level. Some spots look to be a little higher. So I would guess if uh, there's also these little things right here. The little red ones. If you know what the little red ones are. But imagine if a storm surge came in. It'd be nice and safe up here. I don't know if y'all knew this. You know that Marco Island was supposed to be a... Marco Island was supposed to be just like this. But they bulldozed it all, flattened it, and used it for real estate. Marco Island was also an Indian native mound. And the roasters that built it, they knocked down the mounds with bulldozers. Made it all flat. And, uh... This would be a nice place to stay during a hurricane. But yeah, the builders that built uh, Marco Island, they just flattened the whole island out, but it used to be mountains just like this. So that's a little bit more obscure in Florida history. Not sure if they don't want you to know that or what the deal is, but this is a trip me and my wife was walking very slowly because I'm a jerk. have been wanting to do for a while. Elevation keeps rising a little bit. And maybe it's not an Indian mound. I don't know. I mean, they have mountains up over in... There's a central Florida ridge. But I guess when they dig, they find archaeological stuff. But it would make sense that there would be archaeological stuff if people were living here. I don't know. I feel like I'm in Kentucky. Just a straight drop. I don't know. I, I debate whether this is natural or man-made. I think this could be natural. Because uh, you got the central Florida ridge has mountains or hills. And so does uh, like around north of Tampa there's little mountains and hills. So. Lots of shells. The ground here is nothing but shells guys. Look at this. Nothing but shells everywhere. Everything is shells. Which you're not allowed to take because this is state heritage right here. And there's mounds like this all over southwest Florida. But for some reason they don't teach you this history. They should. I think the school system should make teaching kids the history of these places more of a priority than they do. I think this is the type of thing they should teach you in school, but they don't. I don't know, that's just my opinion. I think this is something that they should teach people, kids in school. I think they did let kids go on field trips, 
But if there's something about if you got in trouble or something, you couldn't go? I disagree with that. I think that kids who get in trouble, those are the kids that need field trips the most. Not really into politics. I'm not trying to politic here. I'm just saying, when I was a teenager here in Florida, I wouldn't. they wouldn't let me go on field trips because of my behavior. Those kids with bad behavior are the ones who really need a field trip. They're the ones who need to find hobbies and activities. And those are the ones who are dealing with trouble. Or the ones who really need to come out and see nature and do stuff. That's my personal opinion. All the other kids that are straight-A kids, they don't need it. I'm sure their parents are helping them and supporting them through whatever they're going through. Here's more of these little red ones. I'm sure a black bear would be happy on this time. We should bring a black bear here and let it loose. You don't think there are? Black bears on this island? Yeah. If they swim over here. I'm sure they could swim over here, yeah? Well, if they are, you walk slower than I will, so I'll be okay. I am in no trouble. The vegetation is weird. It's, uh, it's, it's like a different ecosystem. I've never seen this type of... Uh, I don't know if it's non-native stuff or what, but... Some hurricane damage here. You'll notice that, like, on these islands, the vegetation is really meant for hurricanes. Like, the mangroves don't take that much of a hit during hurricanes. Because they're meant to be out here. There's a little air plant right there. See it right there? Right there. It's a cave. See the little cave? Yeah. Tortoise hole. I bet whatever raccoons live on the island are in there too. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's just beautiful landscape, guys. It's like nothing I've ever seen before. It's like its own unique um, trees and everything. I don't know what these trees are right here, but they're everywhere. They're flaky. They're flaky and they're real shiny. Uh, if you know the name of that plant, please comment on the channel. But they're everywhere. Okay, this is a really steep climb. Look at this. Oh, snap. You're going to struggle. We should have brought better footwear for this. Well, we didn't know what was on this side. I know. Look at how beautiful these plants are. And they're really shiny. They're really shiny. Yeah. You ready for this? I'm going to try. All right, give it a try. <laughs> take your time, all right? Uh -huh. Just take your time. Make sure you don't lose your footing. Wow, that is steep. Oh snap, I'm gonna fall. This, yeah, this is not sandal material. You can do it though, it's just put everything you got into it. If you figure, if you figure you're gonna fall, make sure you fall on your knees facing forward. Don't fall backwards or sideways. Right. Oh cool, they actually mow it up here. Yeah, sweet. You made it, or at least I did. You know, if I was a gentleman, I'd be holding your hand right now, right? Yeah. But, but I'm not. Okay. We are on the sacred mount. <laughs> wow, this is so cool. This is, what, 40 feet above ground level? This is unique. And there's trails that go in all different directions. I wonder what happened to Katie. Uh, there's mountains that, uh, or tr mountains, trails in all directions here. I'm gonna look at the map and figure out exactly where we are. And there's more of these things. So anybody knows what they are, comment. Oh wow, you can actually see the water from here, look. You look straight that way. Wow, if you look straight that way, you can actually see a sterile bay. 
I would definitely recommend this trip to anybody in Southwest Florida or if you live in uh, up north. What's up? Do I have to help you? Alright, because I'm over here being a jerk right now. If you live in Florida, you have got to come here and check this place out. It feels like you're in Kentucky or Tennessee. It's so different. It's way out there yonder. You can see the bay. Um, this is like nothing I've ever seen in Florida. You've got to check this out. I've noticed I have a lot of viewership in Texas. Not sure what that's about. Start looking through the statistics. You're getting a workout. Look at that statistics. A lot of viewership in Texas, so. Thank you for watching. And greetings to everybody watching from Texas. Hey, let me know where you're watching from. Let's keep going, baby. This is neat. You fell? I see dirt on your knees. You didn't ask me to help you? You don't need me? I did. I don't I need you. You like it so far? Yeah. You notice you can see the bay down that way? Okay, there's a downhill here. I, I'm pretty sure we're at the middle of this. I'm going to Google Map and make sure we know where we're at. Look at this tree. It's like everything's beautiful out here. Look at the... Just, if it's just... Ow, are these ants? Look at how beautiful. Look at how beautiful. Just everything is so beautiful here. Let me just show you guys where we are. Mount Key Archaeological State Park. That's where we are now. Oh, I gotta do some fishing. Yeah, we will. There's Bonita Springs, there's Fort Myers. Show you guys where we are. All oh, these ants, though. Yeah. Probably another. Hello. Oh, it's a turtle. It is? Yeah. Let's check it out. Hopefully we don't bother him. Yeah, we'll be, he'll be alright. Come here. This is a gopher tortoise. Not turtle, tortoise. And he is a native on the island. You do not want to disturb them. They're... True little guy. Yeah. He's scared. Yeah, you don't want to be bothered. He just wants to eat his little grass and be left alone. So I'm going to get back a little, wanna come here and look at them. You're not allowed to touch these guys. You're not allowed to touch and you're not allowed to disturb them. You can watch them from far away and that's about it. You have had houses on this island, right? Yeah, this was supposed to be a dwelling place. What? It's supposed to be a little island, a little city. Where's the city stuff? Uh, it's like 400 years old, baby. Oh. Okay, Is so... The well, we're going to have to explore a little bit, aren't we? Yeah. We brought the wrong footwear. <laughs> Go slow. Here, I'll... I'll be a jerk and walk away from you. So I have to do it? <laughs> yeah, and if you get hurt, I'm pretty sure there's no medics here to come out here and help you, so... And I'm just going to walk away and pretend I don't know you. Yeah. Come, give me a hand. Show you guys how to be a gentle dude. I ain't got time for this. Nah, she won't let go now. And yeah, we're wearing like the absolute worst footwear. Yeah. Sorry, my toes aren't pretty. Your toes are beautiful. You want me to lick them? No, I meant painted and <laughs> pedicured. No, that would just make you a harlot. Okay, so apparently, part of this island is property, private property. <laughs> oh, hey, here's another realtor, Sherry Irwin. Can you believe that a nature trail? Well, you can still go along the property line, baby. You heard? I don't want to go down anymore. Oh, uh, you're going to have to. It's beautiful down here. 
<laughs> this is America, dude. You're on a, on a state park on an island that's made by Indians. And in the middle of the island, there's a sign for a realtor. Oh, man. This is just incredible. I'm sure you can't build anything on this land. What are you going to build? Katie? I know you're not trying to... Hey! Hey! We're not done here. You're a jerk. Hey, you can't just walk away from a expedition. I know you can hear me. I know you're in earshot of me. You know what? Fine. I hope a panther slays you to death up there. All right, I'm gonna keep going. Look at how beautiful these uh, plants are. When I was a kid, I used to have these. But yeah, I mean, oh, Katie, you made a mistake, boy. All right, she's missing out on the best part. This is the best part right here. Which I'm pretty sure. What? 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 Now she's scared to be alone. This is probably... Huh? I'm coming. Hold on. Let me find out what... Let me get to the end of this trail. I'll come back. Huh? Why? 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 I'm gonna keep going. <sighs> so you YouTubers are getting a view of my my personal relationship with my wife. <laughs> oh man, I'm putting the dirty laundry out on the internet for everybody to see, huh? <sighs> I want to get to the end of this island. Talk about putting your dirty laundry on the internet for some for everybody to see, huh? these things. Did I just hear a goat? Oh, this is tiring. And believe it, it is private property. I wonder if you can live on this island. I'm going to call these roasters when I get home. Find out how much they want. And if you're allowed to build on it. You're probably not allowed to build on it. But you might allowed to have like a houseboat. And then you can have your chickens running around on the island. Some goats. I'm not sure. It would be cool to live on the island. <sighs> it would be nice one day just to be able to... Wouldn't have so many stupid rules and regulations. Okay. If I am not mistaken, these things are... Pata pitaya. Dragon fruit. This is a field of wild dragon fruit. Huh. That is so cool. It's a field of dragon fruit in the wild. So I, I, that means I can share this on my uh, dragon fruit groups. And if you're on my channel, subscribe. But I want to share this on my dragon fruit channel that I am on Facebook. I'm pretty sure these are wild dragon fruit. And I'm pretty sure, look at the size of these trees. I'm pretty sure this is a neat spot when it's a uh, dragon fruit season. To come out here and eat some wild dragon fruit, that's got to be great. The animals have to love it. Dragon fruit's what, $10 a pound if you buy it somewhere? Huh. Oh. I'm getting tired. This is a long walk. Oh, wow. So here's the private property again. Wow, dude. That is a neat chunk of property.
Look at these things. This is a unique environment. This is a unique little island, guys. But yeah, if you're not subscribed, and you've watched this much of the video, you should definitely subscribe. Our channel is about fishing, but I also have channels on uh, on homing pigeon races. It's called Homing Pigeon Races. So, but I'm even this channel, the fishing channel. I do a lot of Florida stuff. I guess if you're into fishing, you're also curious about other Florida stuff. I would, oh, here's another tortoise. I would definitely recommend a trip to this little island. There's two of them. What's wrong with this guy's face? Hey, buddy. What's wrong with your face? You're just an old guy, aren't you? You're just an old guy, aren't you? One here, and there's one over here, who is more shy about getting out of the way. He's just like, oh, you're not going to eat me. He's got his cave right up there. And uh, no, you, you don't want to eat these. If you eat these, you'll probably get really sick, because they carry uh, some type of disease. If they were edible, I'm sure in Florida, with the type of people that live in this state, they would be... Uh, extinct already that's why sea turtles are extinct because we eat them but these two are having a little encounter here we interrupted it okay so now I think we're on the other side of the island already I'd hope so it's a long walk Mount Keys past and future there's some information here let's see if we can uh, there's fishing somewhere on the island. On this side there's fishing. Okay, so we're on the wrong side for fishing. We're on this side here. We should have made the north landing for fishing. So, the archaeological records suggest that Calusa were descendants of the first people to live in Florida about 12,000 years ago. Alright, let's get technical. When the Spanish arrived in the southwest coast of Florida in the 1500s, the Calusa Society religion and government existed for 2,000 years. In the late 1700s, Cuban Cola City fishermen and Native Americans referred to it as Spanish Indians built fishing camps on Mount Key, Mount Key and carried on Calusa fishing traditions during colonial times. So Cubans were here way before Cubans were here way before uh, you know Maybe for a long time, maybe before this was in part of the United States. It was about 1776, the United States was, uh, whatever. And in the 1700s, there were, all, and there were already Cuban fishermen here. Uh, Corrigians arrived on Monkey in the late 1800s, joining other settlers on the island that were farmed fish and raised livestock. And they actually have, uh, a, a historic site a little bit out uh, over by Astero. Future archaeological research, they think in the future they're going to be able to use technology to kind of map out and know what stuff is here. So yes, I'm not the first Cuban to come on this island and, uh, and catch fish. And this talks about uh, homesteading on the island. Wow, there were people homesteading here? Look at that. This is interesting. They were homesteading on this island. So I can share this on my homesteading group too. See, that's how you get your videos to get a lot of views. In the 1890s, while established fishing ranchos continued to harvest fish in the local waters, newcomers to Southwest Florida began homesteading on some of the islands and area. One of the most notable examples occurred on Mount Key. By 1911, the Corrigian Unity had established a community with a single room houses for 17 families. And I guess this is a, a, a map of Mount Key. Showing what family owned what. That's why there's still uh, dragon fruit over there because they were homesteading here. By the 1940s, only one permanent resident remained living a meager existence by herding goats. <laughs> I was just mentioning that a little bit ago. In the end, family equal to a comic. It was too hard to live here. 
filed a claim for Monkey under the Homestead Act. They were granted Homestead. Wow, look at that. So, yeah, definitely they're having people on this island for a very long time. And, uh, very unique place, I'm telling you guys. You gotta check this place out with your family. Fishing encounters, a lot more information here about the families. Um, yeah, I mean, in the late 1700s, after many of the Calusa had abandoned Monkey, the region became home to Cubang fishing ranchos. Fishermen of Spanish descent sailed from Cuba and established fishing camps or ranchos on the island. Wow, so, so when y'all tell me on my videos, I have one video on my channel that's got what, like 200,000 views already? And everybody's telling me to go back to Cuba. We've been out here before the white people were. What you talking about? In many ways, I'm Spaniard. So all that people... And it talks about who are the Calusas. Um, you can pause the video if you want to read all this. But anyways, when a lot of people tell you, you know, go back to Cuba. We were here before y'all were. What you talking about? We've been here, and I know for a fact, my grandmother, from my dad's side, is Siboney Indian. Indian. Okay, and that's a really rare thing to, to have. Look at the big tunas. The big, uh, the Mexicans call it maguey. It's where the tequila comes from, these things. Here's a few smaller ones. But there's a few big giant ones back in there. The, the, this is a unique island. This is just... I mean, the stuff on this island is just amazing. More dragon fruit. Uh, I think my wife should have came this far. She missed out. She missed out on some goodies. More dragon fruit. I mean, basically, there's dragon fruit. Oh, I've got to come here during dragon fruit season. Technically, you're not allowed to take any of the architecture, you know, any of the stuff from the island, but... Kind of tempting to take a little piece of this dragon fruit, take it home and see what it does. More dragon fruit, guys. Look at this. Wow. Fields and fields full of uh, dragon fruit. Wow. <laughs> the dragon fruit on this island in season has to be like amazing. Can you imagine that? That's Southwest Florida International Airport. If you want to fly into this area, dude, this island is just covered with dragon fruit, the whole thing. It's like everywhere you look, there's dragon fruit. Look at this. Can you imagine that? Being here, like, in dragon fruit season? The whole island's full of dragon fruit. Wow. I would love to take some cuttings. <laughs> I didn't say anything. Is it about arche archaeological stuff? I'm not taking anything archaeological. I'm taking plant matter. I would love to come here during dragon fruit season. This stuff is ten dollars a pound. It tastes like ice cream if you've ever had it. Wow. I didn't realize this would be just a big island, but it is. Is that a trail camera? What's up, player? Look at all the dragon fruit. And uh, I'm pretty sure that's where tequila comes from. Or uh, similar. Definitely not a Florida na native plant. So I'm sure whoever brought it to the island had a purpose for it. Oh, wow. Well, you can tell it's been a while since anybody's been on this island. Like, that's the other thing. There's so much to do on, on in, in Southwest Florida that's fun. People go to the beach. Everybody, you go to the beach thousands and thousands of people on the beach man and there's so much more southwest florida you know there is so much more to southwest florida than just going to these beaches i'm telling you guys there's so much more to this place and we're at the end of this trail there's so much more to this place than just that mount keys the archaeological site all plants and animals all are protected all See that all plants and animals are protected. Mm-hmm. Get it? All.
plants and animals are protected here. That means the dragon fruit, guys. Here we are. Let's get back. I'm actually going to jog back because it's a long little, it's a long little ride. What a neat place. And like I said, guys, there's so much more to Southwest Florida than just the usual. There's a piece of scrap metal there. There's so much more to Southwest Florida than the usual everyday stuff. Get out here and get on this island. Get in the Everglades. See the real Florida. Thousands of people on the beaches. There's so much more to Florida than just the beaches. There's so much to see, so much to explore. We're the only people here. This is, look how majestic and cool this place is. And there's thousands of people zooming by this island. And you don't see a single person really, uh... I mean, they're literally flying over us. And, uh... Just me and Katie are the only people on this island. You know? People don't enjoy the real Florida. People go for the beach and they miss out on the real Florida. So, definitely, if you come to Florida, yeah, see the beaches. But you know what? Get out in the Everglades. Fish in the Everglades. Come to Mount Key. You know? If you're watching my channel and you know any cool place you want me to share, please comment on the video. And let me know so I can share with other people. The lake in the middle island. I'm sure the elevation here has to be 20 feet above actual sea level. But there's a saltwater lake. And believe me, there's fish in there. Would you agree with me? That this is Florida's best kept secret? Huh? Come on. You gotta agree with me. This has gotta be Florida's best kept secret. There's some cool stuff in Florida. But this tops the list. An island in the middle of a bay. Millions of people swarming around us. And none of them, they all fail to mention, to notice that there's an island that was built by Indians, inhabited by Q-Wing, and that there's private property on, in the middle of a sterile bay, and nobody, me and Katie are the only people on this island. There's no footprints on this island, I haven't seen a single sign of anyone other than realtors. <laughs> oh, Florida. Yeah, realtors. And you can tell there's some, maybe once a month, a landscaping company comes in here to work on it. Oh, this is tiring. Maybe once a month, a landscaping company comes out here to trim stuff. But other than that, you have this whole place to yourself. This is tiring. All right, so we'll rest here for a little bit, and in a little bit we're gonna go fishing. Got a little... Um, no idea. I've never been able to. My, my, uh, my grandma's father uh, was the mayor of, of Bonis, Cuba. Okay. You know, I can find out. It'd be awesome to find out. But he was the mayor of, the, of, of Bonis, Cuba. I have a feeling there might be French, like French Haitians. When Haiti won their revolution, they went to Cuba. Because they seem more French than Spaniard. We're out here on Mount Key. We've got a shrimp, just uh, no weight, no nothing, just a, a, a blue shrimp. Pushing it up against the mangroves. Should be an attractive bite for snappers and whatever else is out there.
out of my bike, but the drive was too cool. Just a second hug. They're biting on there. Money. You got more money. Why are you even get that money? I sat on the seashore. Yeah, you're money. Yeah. And yes, I am a big girl, so don't say nothing. Jerks, if you say anything mean, it will be deleted. I, I blocked you from the channel. If anybody that says anything mean, like the fishing channel, I get like three subscribers a day at least. So if one of them's a jerk, that's like when I started the fishing channel, I had a bunch of haters. And I was getting, and I'm still getting about 30 new subscribers a day on that channel. So if one of them's a jerk, it's like, no saying. So I just block you. And then those same people will end up opening another Google account just so they can continue watching the channel because even though they're haters, for some reason they still like to watch your channel. Beyond me. But yeah, if you say something rude, especially about Katie, you can say whatever, like, whatever you want about me. If you say something rude about Katie, you're gone. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. Bye Laura. Don't call me back. <laughs> we'll do, but be nice about it. That's not bad. No bites here. Yeah, we should start heading a little bit further back. Yeah. Uh. Well, the battery came up, <laughs> but we're right across the bridge, so not too much paddle. Those. Staying up in this water. Well, this is the type of water where we've caught redfish in the past. Yeah. But it just seems out here. Okay. At least we're within paddle side of where we're trying to go. Mm-hmm.